By day, there's always anxiety in me, heart pounding out of my chest, and I'm not doing my best. But by night, once the music is on and I'm alone, I go away like a burning match being blown. I was powerless the day I was in the hospital with my dad. Before that, I was happy. Before that, I was okay. Dad forgot who I was, and I felt like he had gone away. It has been six years. After this experience, I won't ever be the same. Power slash powerless poem. There's a handful of people that could overrule me, so I want to consider myself as powerful. Mm -hmm. But if I had to choose, though, it would be the feeling of making my family proud. I got the honor roll. There's almost nothing as good as knowing there's people there supporting you. When I'm at home, I have control over my life. I feel powerful. I'm not worried about my future. I feel like I can be myself. But the moment I enter school, I feel powerless. I feel like so much weight was just added onto my shoulders. How am I supposed to work hard all the time? I still have time to do stuff I like to do. People tell me to do it. It will get you to places you thought you'd never been to. But in reality, one wrong move can bring my whole future to shit. And that scares me. It puts a feeling in my stomach that just won't go away. For example, getting caught with drugs that aren't mine or that I was forced to carry. In this system, it doesn't matter if you were forced or if they are yours. You'll get expelled. Most most successful people in this world didn't even go to college. Shit, some dropped out of high school. So I ask, is school just wasting our time? Or is it going to get us places adults have been telling us our whole lives? By day, I feel happy and energetic. By night... I feel sadness because I don't like being vulnerable around others. By day, I do what I'm supposed to. By night, I sing when no one's around. By day, I watch Netflix. By night, I sleep. By day, I do my schoolwork. By night, I sneak things like food. By day, I act how I feel I'm supposed to, so I'm not judged. By night, I talk to myself. By day, I'm doing chores, trying to watch a never-ending pile of dishes. By night, I'm talking to my friends online for hours, nonstop. By day, I'm laying down on my bed the whole day doing nothing. By night, I listen to music constantly like Talia the Creator and Claro on repeat. By day, I'm on Zoom doing online classes waiting for the day to end. By night, I binge animate with my friends. By day, I annoy all of my friends when I have no one to talk to, and by night, I sleep late to do all the assignments I didn't finish. I was powerless when I punched a man for saying the N-word. And I felt so mad inside that I can punch the wall, but instead I punched, but instead of punching the wall, I punched his face. But in my mind, I seen his face shattering into pieces, but powerful, but I was powerful. When I, t- when I told my teacher, it was so funny how emotions work to the point that you can say something so cruel cool and mean, like somebody stabbing you in the back. But it is not how you react to the problem, it's how you deal with it. A time when I felt powerful was when I got a good camera angle on my phone. And I took the photo and edited it. And it would look really nice. After I would take a photo like that, I would feel free like the wind. Power. I feel it in my veins. I feel it in my muscles. We're going, we are on top of the world. We run the world. We walk everywhere. We see everything, everyone. From all walks of life, we see a bustling city. And we see the quiet streets. We joke with each other. We can fight with each other. Our power is with each other, me and my friends. By day, I watch videos. I play games. I feel tired and wimpy. I eat my breakfast like a slug and wait for school to begin. By night, I am not as weak. I exercise 30 minutes. I eat my supper. And best of all, I sleep. And sleep away for what feels like a month. I feel powerful when I sat in the front seat of the car for the first time. I was excited, ready to poke my head out the window like a dog to control the radio and play the song I wanted to hear. Dogs like to poke their head out the window because they can enjoy all the different smells. I poked out my head because I like to see all the different colors. I can't help those kids who cross the border for a better life. This makes me feel powerful This frustrates me. 
These kids have to go through miles of walking to the desert under the blazing sun, blusters on their feet, buckets of tears of exhaustion, walking in dehydration, hunger, little sleep, the danger of kidnapping, or even worse, caught by the border patrol. All your work to the dust.